guys. So before we jump into the electronics, we've got the plane here. This is called a Nakamura lock, I believe. Um, I don't know uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is the, kind of the staple paper airplane, if you know what I mean. My personal favorite, if you've probably noticed that. Um, as all my planes, I've been made out of uh, this design right here. So um, I've used uh, eight sheets of purple and eight sheets of orange. I actually had... Um, I thought I had enough orange, but I only had like nine sheets, so I had to do half purple, half orange. But most of the wings got orange, and then a lot of the uh, doubled over parts underneath got purple. So yeah, um, it doesn't stand up straight. So basically, what we've got going on here is we've got a Sentinel spy drone part, of course, um, controlled by the transmitter, which is over here, right here. Sorry for that bump. Um, so I'm using this. I'm going to have an FPV camera that I'm putting on it, but for my first flight I'm not going to have because this board doesn't like FPV cameras, so I'm going to have to use my other board for that. So in another video I will resolder and make an FPV mod for this um, so I can do some, get some really cool onboard footage. Um, of course we are using some Sentinel spy drone parts, um, like I said. So we've got the FC board here, um, and I've soldered up two back motors. I've got a um, clockwise right here. And then below, out of frame, is the counterclockwise. There, I use these red props because the black props that I had um, were both, um, they're both ca counterclockwise. Um, and so I broke two clockwise ones. So yeah. Um, and then I'm using two of the stock LEDs. Um, the camera would go right here on the very nose. And then I've made this, uh, then I'm using, of course, the stock battery as well. Um, and so as you can see, what I do here is I made this little flap for the battery. So basically what you do is you're going to go ahead, push it in, and kind of push the uh, balance lead in where that goes, and kind of connect it. It's not perfect. When I actually fly it, I'll do better, but this is like command strip stuff. And um, then you just connect these two. And as you can see, when I get this plugged in, it has the same startup as the Sentinel Spy Drone procedure. So this is basically just because it's snowing outside. I don't want to get any... Uh, snow in my lipo battery because you know lipos and water don't mix so um and except for when you're discharging that salt water so anyway uh, i'm using i've got two of those i'm going to be using one at a time one 2s lipo um it doesn't really seem to need any more power so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and give it a test flight i'm out at the park uh and I, let's see how it flies um but yeah, so I might have to cover up some of the electronics with like saran wrap or something. One thing I do want to mention is I had to do some structural stuff. So on the bottom part, I did these used shims um, to balance. It does two things. It uh, strengthens the back and it also balances out the CG because uh, with all the electronics at the front, you can see the CG of the scaled airplane is like right in the middle of the um, leading edge of the wings. And on the CG on this thing, you won't be able to see it. It's kind of more towards the front. So uh, I did kind of have to even out with the CG. So I, I think it's going to be a little bit underpowered with these uh, motors that are not quite um, very not quite big enough. But I, I hope that it will still fly. Um, one main concern that I have is that we won't be generating a, a, enough lift um, from this model. But the one thing that is going for us here is that the model flies at a high alpha on the wings. Meaning that when it's gliding, the motors will be tilting upward, pulling the airplane up, hopefully upward a little bit with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut some flight footage at the park. Alright guys, so we made it to the park. Let's go ahead, plug it in, and give it a shot. So I'm going to go ahead, get this connector lined up. My fingers. Alright, so once we got this all lined up, what we can go ahead and do, fire up the controller. Alright, so let's go ahead. You got it still? Three, two, one. Ah, oh, almost flew. So... Yeah, everything, the battery just flew out. Um, it kind of did fly a little bit, but not quite um, as well as we wanted to. It's a little bit heavy. I might have to put some more motors on, but that'll be for the next video. This is definitely not going to be a dead project. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.